Hello everyone. Welcome again to our another video on sheet metal working as a part of man course manufacturing processes one. In this video, we will talk about cutting force analysis. We'll have a small example and try to see how can we calculate the cutting force in sheet metal working processes. Such type of example can be asked in university examinations for six marks. Cutting pores required. Nothing, it is nothing but the pressure or stress required to cut or shear the work material. It can be calculated with shear strength of the material we can denote it with S multiplied by thickness of the material T multiplied by length of the cutting edge. It could be a contour as well. It could be perimeter of a circle in case of cutting a circular blank. So basically the total amount of pressure or cutting force or shear stress required depends on three basic factors the geometry which defines the contour or the total cutting edge thickness of the material and shear strength thickness and shear strength shear strength defines the type of the material so let's take an example small example here we can see a rectangular block or a plate having 20 millimeters length and 15 millimeters width with thickness T 1.5 millimeter. So we have to calculate the force to produce a pocket of this size in a material having thickness 1.5 millimeter and having shear strength 40 kg per millimeter square. So obviously we first need to calculate the total cutting length of the contour or the total cutting length of the cutting edges. So it would be twice the width and twice the length which is which comes around 70 millimeters and the total amount of cutting force P required would be shear strength of the material which is given 40 kg per millimeter square multiplied by thickness of the material T 1.5 millimeter multiplied by total cutting length which we have just calculated 70 millimeters. So that comes around 4200 kg of force, cutting force required. See this is so simple to calculate the cutting force with the help of shear strength, thickness and length of the contour, length of the cutting edge. You just need to make sure you calculate the cutting length which depends on the type of geometry of the workpiece and the job is easy. It's very easy to score 6 marks. Hopefully you will be able to do it in the university examinations. So simple. Alright, all the best. Thanks for watching the video.